Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jamaka. I'm glad you're here. You're, I'm glad that I can give you this uh, word of encouragement or just gonna discuss the Bible with me, a little Bible study. All right, so let's dig in. Let's eat. All right, open your Bibles to Romans chapter 10, verse 17. So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So faith comes by hearing. Hearing, you hear the word, somebody's teaching you, pastor, maybe your friend is telling you about the word of God, teaching you the word, the scriptures. Faith comes by hearing. So, it says, so you do not, people will not come to Christ unless they read the Bible for themselves or if they hear the word. So, so that's why it's good for some of these uh, channels, pages on YouTube to be good in operation so that people can stop by, listen, and it will help them with their faith. So by me reading this, the word, showing you the word, your faith is coming. You're able to hear, listen, and uh, hopefully the Holy Spirit is drawing you to hear. It says, this does not mean we must enter public ministry to preach the gospel. The Greek word used here for preacher means one who heralds, proclaims, or publishes. Clearly, every believer is assigned a personal pulpit in the home, the community, at the office, or in school from which to show and tell the others about God. We're supposed to go and tell people about Jesus. We should, you know have a desire for lost the lost to come to Christ. You know, we should have a desire for unbelievers to believe. You know? We should have a desire for unbelievers to believe. So, by me reading this, I'm just Praying to God that somebody will hear and their heart change because it is a life changing um, experience. It is a life changing moment when you accept Christ as your Lord and Savior into your life. So it says that if you confess with your mouth, the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. With the heart one believes into righteousness and with the mouth confession is made into salvation. With our mouth, we say, Lord, I believe. I believe. It means to trust in, have faith in, be fully convinced of, acknowledge, rely on, and is more than credence. It is a trust that produces obedience. So when you believe, you trust God, and guess what? That trust will turn into obedience. We don't have to trust ourselves. We don't have to trust ourselves in life. We trust God. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not into your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all your ways and he shall direct your path. Yes. So you may come here. You may be seeking an answer. The answer is in the word of God. The answer, the answer that you need is in the word of God because the word, as you read it with your own eyes, it will speak to you. you your heart will hear it because the word is a discerner. And so by you reading it, it is speaking to you and your, what is going to benefit you in your walk. So what I may read, it may show you something totally different, you know? And that's why we share it. We share what this might mean. 
So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So as you hear me speak the scriptures, your faith is coming. So faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. What is faith? What is faith? What is faith? What is faith? <laughs> what is faith? It's faith. Faith is is the is the belief you believing I believe that Christ died on the cross and rose on the third day I believe that he saved us um I believe that there's eternal life after death I believe that there's a heaven and a hell um and by me believing that and by me confessing that, that gives us a job to do. Um, by you believing that, you of course want others to believe too. So it says, whoever calls on the name of Jesus shall be saved. It's not up to me to convince you. It's God's work. The Holy Spirit is doing the working. We just plant the seeds. Throw the seeds out. The word of God is the seed. I'm sowing the seed into your life. And I'm praying that God would allow that seed to hit good ground. That your ears were here. And that your spirit, your soul, your heart, and whatever is ground whatever ground that it needs to be used in you i pray that it sits there and you allow the holy spirit to water it and that it will grow and you'll produce spiritual fruit spiritual life um so yeah If you have faith the size of a mustard seed, if you just believe that small amount, that small amount, if you believe the faith the size of a mustard seed. The mustard seed is so small, but as you plant that seed, it will grow into a big tree. Let's see, can I find that in here? Faith the size of a mustard seed. Um, let's see. Jesus taught him parables. Um, it says, What is the kingdom of God like? And what shall I compare it? It is like a mustard seed, which a man took and put in his garden, and it grew and became a large tree, and the birds of the air nested in its branches. It is like a mustard seed. It is like a mustard seed. which a man took and put in his garden and it grew and became a large tree in the birds of the air nest. So your faith will grow. It will grow, begin to house things, you know, allow your faith to grow. Allow it to go, allow the word to be put in your heart, guys. All right. Thank you for watching. I mean, I think, yeah, thank you for watching. I keep forgetting I'm talking to the phone. Thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate that. Make sure you like and subscribe.